Dark Elves versus Skaven. Kevin Tealus and Shogunic. Captain Tealus trying something new versus Skaven. Witch Elves are pretty strong against them, but Crone Hellebron. It's been theory crafted a lot whether she could be good against them or not. So far, that has not been the case. On her Mance course, taking her case of Kane. And then that's about it. Amulet of Dark Fire for. Ooh, spell resist. That's pretty good. So she can't get Flunzing Ruined as easily. But what is new is double Blood Rack Shrine. Both of them cause terror. They have spell resist themselves. So they can't get Flunzing Ruined as easily. And they have a pretty good charge bonus. And then a leadership and melee defense debuff for the Skaven nearby. Besides that, we have a Deathcaster with Spirit Leech, who already overcast onto Ikit and got a bit of damage out. And then Witch Elves and Black or Corsair Handbows. On the other side, for the Skaven, we have Gutter Runners and Night Runners for a bit of Skirmish. Rat Ogres and Wolf Rats, a little bit of mobility there. Then Clan Rat Spears, the Avalanche Mortars, two Globes, Ikit Claw, and his Doom Flare with uh, Flensing Ruin. Seeing no cavalry from the Dark Elves, a lot of the mobility of the Skaven are going to move up, though they are ending up in that Warhammer 3 line formation. That can sometimes happen, so they're not going to get a very effective charge. Meanwhile, these other ones are going to try and peel Hellebron off of the back line that she dove onto. Gutter Runners and Night Runners getting caught up a little bit. They're holding those guys in place. The Poison Globes do need to turn and fire at that instead of those big shrines. Oof, and already Wolf Rats are routing it near full health. It could claw on some of the boys running down Hellebron, trying to keep her on the ground as the Wolf Rats will do that nice and fast. They can poison her, slow her down, and keep her on the ground while it gets a rear charge. And Rat Ogres may be overcommitting to this Lord Snipe as their front line is getting rolled through. We can see the Blood Rack Medusas have already gotten up and through, terror routing off Poison Globes, terror routing and shattering Clan Rats. Avalanche Mortar's doing good damage, but for how long before those Blood Rack Shrines get in there? And yeah, some of the Rat Ogres are going to turn around and try and add their bodies to the pile. Keep these guys locked up so blood rack shrines are mowing straight through them elsewhere elebron still getting very low runs towards her own black arc with her hambos to get to safety it got another flensing ruin out onto her so this gave and really need to kill off hellebron if this lord snipe is going to be worth it because extra damage on her is fine she's a melee combat and i often say about casters if you don't kill them what was the point at least they're taxing a melee combatant quite a lot but still, I worry about the rest of their lines getting taken out while this is happening. The Avalanche Mortar is still trying to fire for now into some Black Arc Corsair Hambos. Getting a little bit of damage here and there. But that is a lot of terror routing Skaven. The leadership debuffs on the Blood Rack Shrines plus their terror is just too much. Yeah, look at them go. Look at them all go. Massive terror route. And the entire Skaven line buckles. We still have some strength over here. Rat Ogres and Ikit Claw trying to return to the fight as Crone Hellebron is diving Ikit. Little brass orb for Mickey to try and grab up some of these Black Oppressor Hambos, make them easy prey for the clan rats. And Hellebron thinks about fighting Ikit, but then gets back to the sky instead, avoiding those rat ogres. As the Blood Rack Shrines are the name of the game, though. These masked chariots with their terror rolling straight through the Skaven front line was definitely unexpected, and is now making sure that none of them are allowed to rally. Bounce power is about 50-50, though I would much rather beat the Dark Elves in this situation than the Skaven. For the Dark Elves, a lot of their infantry have taken extreme damage. I think that's where a lot of the balance of power is, is coming from. For the Skaven side, it's just, oh, so many Dark Elves are dead. But it's like, yeah, most of the Skaven that the balance power is relying on are routing currently, or will be kept routing by these Blood Rack Shrines. It gets another Spirit Leech. And Hellebron, nice charge attack onto him. Will terror out Ikit off. She should be able to walk that Lord off the battlefield. Then with the Lord is dead debuff, Skaven are generally pretty useless. And especially if you have two Blood Rack Shrines running around, lowering their leadership even further, they will just route on contact. So we'll see if Hellebron can get that bigger leadership debuff of killing the enemy Lord rather than him just walking off the map. But either is fine. Gets a good hit, gets a second good hit, and the third and final one will finish him. Does she get it? Da -da. Da -da. Just back in the sky, and she lands, and she kills him. Over here, you're going to see literally everything route before your very eyes. Watch now. There goes that. There goes that. There goes those. Rat Ogre is getting close to routing. There goes those. Close to routing. Yep, GG. Blood Rack Shrine tech is pretty spooky versus the Skaven. I actually like that a lot. That was pretty innovative.
You definitely want it on a small map. Don't do it on, like, crossroads, because then they're free targets for Gisales and Warp Lighting Cans. But on a small map, like Blood Pine Woods, that, that was pretty solid. I like that a lot. Shogunic. I like his build. I think he overcommitted to trying to kill Hellebron for a little bit. Needed some of those Molder monsters to stop the shrines in place. But I don't know if he had enough to even kill the shrines, regardless. Like, sure, if they were in a complete vacuum with nothing around them, yeah, this whole Skaven army could definitely do it. But with the context of you need Flensing Rune for Hellebron and the Shrines and the enemy caster, and most of these things have spell resist, with the caveats of Avalanche Mortars are there to kill infantry, Globes are there to kill infantry, so your, your Blood Rack Shrine killers were the four Rat Ogres, Flensing Ruin, and I guess the four Skirmishers, but it was tough. GG. Rawr. Subscribe, yes, yes.